every time you let somebody else fix a tricky coding problem, say no to a new opportunity, or in any other way, hide from something outside your comfort zone. It's easy to tell yourself a story about why that was a sensible choice, but deep down there's a sense of regret at not bringing your entire ability to the table. Whatever position you're in right now, whether that's learning to code, a development job, or building your own project. If you're honest with yourself, are you ending each day with a sense of fulfillment that you've shown up as your full self or have you left a lot of gas in the tank? I spent 13 years in a relatively comfortable back-end development job and three years ago I took a big leap of faith to figure out how to make an income on my own. Since beginning this new journey I've realized that trusting in my own abilities is one of the most important aspects to keep moving forward because if you're not moving forward you're moving backwards and wasting your potential, your opportunities and ultimately your life. And this isn't going to be a I made $100,000 in two days kind of video, but instead I'm going to share how a regular developer like me can begin to believe they have what it takes to build awesome software and start to take the first steps towards their goals. Did you ever take on some coding work under strict time constraints? And however much you objected to the unrealistic expectation, you just had to put your head down and get it done. This is the leap of faith of jumping out of an aeroplane and making your own parachute on the way down. Because starting work when we feel like we don't have the skills to complete that is scary. But the leap of faith is believing that as we start that project, whatever skills we find that we're missing, we can fill in the gaps along the way. So how might that look for you. It could be avoiding learning that new technology because you feel like it's outside of your skill set, even though once you learn it, it could 10x your productivity. Or it could be having a dream of wanting to build your own web apps, but not having the perfect idea to get started. Well, just like Indiana Jones lifted his leg and leapt into the unknown, as developers, we have to believe that any challenges we come up against, we've got what it takes to figure it out. And when you start taking even small leaps of faiths, whether that's writing one line of a new programming language, trying out one tiny feature of a new framework, or implementing the most basic feature of a new web app idea. Once we do that, it feels amazing, not because we completed that thing that we set our mind to, but more because we believed in ourselves enough to try. Even though I quit my coding job three years ago, I didn't see much progress because I was clinging so tightly to the Java programming language that I'd used for 13 years. That prevented me from exploring other languages or frameworks that might allow me to build ideas that I had in my head and actually start to enjoy development. And even though I still think Java is a great programming language, I took a big leap of faith by closing that chapter and taking on opportunities that are more relevant to my journey right now. So if trusting in your own abilities leads to a positive outcome, how do you actually take the first step? Think about a time you've been on holiday and you've had to make tough decisions about what to take with you in a small suitcase. When you got to your destination, were you miserable because you didn't have that blue t-shirt that you love so much? No, you enjoyed your holiday given the resources you had access to. What I'm saying is that since humans existed, we thrived under constraints of time and resources. Finding food, finding water, finding shelter, our minds came up with ingenious ways to solve these problems the best thing about the human brain is that when you consciously focus on a fixed goal, like overcoming a coding problem you've been stuck on for days, it puts your subconscious mind to work so that even when you're taking a shower, the perfect answer might suddenly appear in your head. For me, knowing this makes it a lot easier to start things that feel uncomfortable, like this video I'm making right now, where I've only got access to this tiny small room and I've only got 40 minutes before I need to leave this co-working space. Somehow, by writing down a few notes, turning on the camera, and beginning to express some ideas, I know that I'll be able to create a video to upload to YouTube. Once you begin to trust yourself in small ways like this, things get a lot more interesting, and you find yourself taking on bigger and bigger challenges. Whatever goals you have in life right now, maybe it's not engaging in the work that's stopping you from taking steps towards that goal, but it could instead be a fear of failure. But let me leave you with this. Even if you take that leap of faith 
and fall flat on your face, that's gonna feel 100 times more satisfying than not taking that leap at all. And anyway, if you're honest, the failure that you're thinking about isn't that bad and you'll be able to pick yourself up and try again with a new level of wisdom. So know that you have 200,000 years of human evolution on your side that's prepared you for this exact moment right now. Take a look at your life and whatever goals you want to reach and ask yourself what leap of faith you've been putting off. It's normally the one that you want to avoid thinking about and feels uncomfortable, but deep down you know what it is. So just jump. See you in the next one.